Welcome back. Mary J. Blige will be here soon. First, though, she's lived her life in the glare of the paparazzi flashbulb, wild child, actress and sex symbol. It's only Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> How are you? Do you want a drink, love? Oh, my. Um, I'm OK, thank you. Is that... Are you offe I'm sorry. Is that offensive? <laughs> Lindsay Lohan not having a drink. <laughs> I've stocked up a special. I've got... Really? Is yeah, that necessary? I've got a backup glow back there, just in case you drank me out of house and home. <laughs> now, you've got your own fashion label now. Yes. And add a little look at it. You love leggings. It started with leggings, it's 6126, and now yeah. we did 6126 collection, so now it's a full clothing line. Um, 6126? Yeah. That's not your pin, is it? <laughs> no, you it's can't not. be careful, you've got to protect your pin. Well, it's not my pin. <laughs> I don't even have my pin memorized. <laughs> now, why is it called 6126? Um, it's Marilyn Monroe's birthday. Um, oh. And I've, I think she's fantastic, and I've been inspired by her in a lot of ways. Um, and so I wanted to kind of have, have it to have something to do with her. Now, is it fair to say you're a little bit obsessed with Marilyn? I think obsessed is a strong word. <laughs> I think you are obsessed. <laughs> I'm not obsessed. You've got a tattoo? Not of Marilyn. No, no, of what she, one of her. Um... Oh, yeah. It says, um, stars, all we ask for is our right to twinkle. Oh. And the other one says, I restore myself when I'm alone. And these are all Marilyn Monroe quotes that you've tattooed on your arm. There's arms. just two. Well, I think two still. <laughs> it's not like I have a face of her on my arm. Well, no, that ill. You see people like that, don't you? I was in a club <laughs> once and I saw someone with Madonna That's tattooed on her back. <laughs> and, you know, it's like from, like, 1987, you know, when she was dressed as a senorita? <laughs> <laughs> and he had such a hairy back. <laughs> why, was, why did he have no shirt on? Yeah, well, it was, it was a uh, special <laughs> club. What a club was this? <laughs> <laughs> My friend had wandered into this club and <laughs> I was... I was looking for him. It was very dark. <laughs> now, the reason I say it is because you posed as Marilyn Monroe yourself, didn't you? I did. Um, I was asked by Bert Stern, who shot on the last sitting with her... Oh, I know. ..to, um, yeah, to pose as her. Yeah. I wasn't aware of what, you know, the New York Times article was going to be in the end of it. Oh, no, what? I didn't know about that. What's well, I didn't happened? know that there was, they were going to show any sort of nudity. Yeah, because that means... My grandmother cause... wasn't too happy about that. Oh, I know, because I saw one of them wondering if you got your, um... Because your breasts and everything. But then, but then Marilyn's... You saw her breasts, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I mean, you're only copying love, isn't it? I know, it's just... <laughs> I, I wish I had known. I didn't... I wasn't aware of it before. Well, you've got not... That Can they I were just... definitely going to show it. I didn't know. Oh, well, you've got That's nice okay. breasts, anyway. It could be worse, couldn't it? <laughs> Funny if you had an awful pair of tits. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got um, a reputation as a wild child. Do I? <laughs> I think you know you do. <laughs> no, you do, and I'm interested about it. <laughs> How did it go off the rails so much? No, I mean, like, you know, you had the, you're like a, an actress and everything, and then all of a sudden we started seeing these things in the, the magazines and, No, it's like... really... It's, 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 it's hard because, you know, you get into the industry for a certain reason and then that completely distracts from everything that you've worked for. Um, yeah. Which, it's not fair, but it's something that, I guess... I think the obsession with tabloids has become so much bigger than it, it was in the beginning, like, few years ago in general. I remember reading one, one studio exec sort of gave you a hard time, wrote an open letter accusing mm. you of being unprofessional. Well, I was late to set um, one day. Mm. Yeah. Um, and it was a personal issue. I was, had a fight with my boyfriend the night before, so I was upset, and I couldn't get to sleep, so I was late. I was, like, 15 minutes... No, maybe a little longer than that. I was, like, a half an hour late to set. Um, yeah. And they sent a letter out and it released it to the press. That's not so fair, then, ever is it? since then, it was kind of because they said we've like been told out. that your absences from the set were due to illness and heat exhaustion, but we all know that the real reason for your exhaustion is your all-night partying. <laughs> <laughs> it's long days that when people film, it's long hours, and it gets yeah. you know it gets it's draining because you have to be on every second that you're there, and it's it's like any job, it's just sometimes 19 hours a day. 
So what, was you angry when you read that? Did you know that letter was going to come out or did you open the paper? I didn't know, no. I had, I, oh, no. I had heard that it was out and then I got the letter. Yeah. Because then it could, could do damage to your career, couldn't it? Well, I mean, it, it does in a lot of ways. And, every, and things that get written, you know, do all the time. Why don't you write a letter about him? <laughs> Saying he's a wanker. <laughs> now, it used to be packed with um, Nicole, Richie and Paris Hilton. Now, we're all obsessed with that in England. So tell me, what were those nights out like? Say I was sitting at home, I hear beep, beep. I open the curtains. There's you, Paris and Nicole. Alan, come on, we're going out. <laughs> Get your leggings. <laughs> <laughs> where would we be going? Talk me through it. Oh, you mean out in LA? Yeah, where would we go? Tell us about a night. Well, so places of clothes that I would uh, that I've gone to different places to with friends and different people. Um, it's different now. I I don't go out in LA that much actually. No. It's just it gets it's really scary there because here it's a bit easier. You can like I've been walking and which I don't really get to do in LA. You have to drive yeah. everywhere and I don't have my license back yet. Yeah. Um, which is fun. <laughs> um, but so they, they get really aggressive when they're chasing you. It gets really scary. Mm, mm. Um, so I'm usually, I usually end up home or there's very few places that I go to. One thing I couldn't understand, you got caught drink driving twice, but you ended up in jail for 84 minutes. <laughs> Was it like a drive through <laughs> No, I'm not seriously. I don't think, I don't think I, that's I, necessary to discuss. Oh, no, I just wondered why it took 84 minutes. What was going on? We said, oh, I don't like it here. <laughs> yeah, because it was up to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why they... I'm not the judge. No. Oh, so you just said you can go home. Well, yeah, well, I think it was, it was discussed beforehand what exactly was going to happen. Yeah. So what did you do for 84 minutes? Just sat in there and had a chat? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm, I've never been to prison. I don't know what it's like. I'm, honestly, I'm intrigued. Actually, I'm not it's, being it's, snide. It's I just not a I find it place. In, no, I can imagine. <laughs> it's scary. Oh. You taught me my lesson. Let's talk about your dating. <laughs> Are you not... dating anyone at the no, minute? No, I'm not. I wouldn't tell you if I was anyway. Why wouldn't you tell <laughs> me? I'm a friend. <laughs> Let's get this straight. Are you Arthur or are you Martha now? <laughs> Really? Yeah. I mean, just, <laughs> are you back on the cock? <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> it's it's a serious question. <laughs> Calling me a bastard is not very nice. Uh, this is an interview. I haven't just come up next to you on the bus and said. You said am I out for a month? <laughs> well, not anything I mean, goes. I'm not responding to that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, just, I just found it. I just found it interesting <laughs> because I've like a lot of lesbian friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. <laughs> and they say that going out with a woman is different to going out with a man. They sort of know Obviously. how to please a woman. <laughs> I mean, well, they're lesbians, clearly. I know, but they like. <laughs> but they like. They like what a, a woman does to a woman. I'm not discussing this. <laughs> I'm not the <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Will your next one be a man or a woman? I'm not discussing it. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. No, just because there are people, people like who, who fancy you and then they want. <laughs> oh, no, that, no, that's not open. Let's see if there's other questions. Okay, <laughs> other questions. Um... Other things to discuss? <laughs> Besides what's unnecessary? Well, I, just, I was just intrigued. Are you intrigued? Yes! Oh, right, OK, all right. You're going to hit me in a minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> been anywhere nice recently? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, um, good luck with everything. Have you enjoyed the interview? I haven't been too yes, harsh, have funny. I? Yes, No, it's fine. No. It's all in You've had fun. a nice time? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> everyone. Would you brilliant? Thank you. Thank you. You're so funny. <laughs> That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Torval and Dean, Frankie Boyle, and of course, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> yes. Now with I Am.